Hello everyone, this is the first official, official episode of Project Orion SMP. So, why I say official is we've streamed this twice and I turned the first stream into a weird edited um, video, or I tried to. But, most of the stuff is going to be done on the stream. However, I do want to come and do some stuff for the video people. And if you only watch the videos, I suggest you go and watch the streams. And if you're here from the streams, thank you for coming and watching the videos and see seeing some of the stuff I do behind the scenes. So if you remember, or those of you who are on stream, we built this giant room last time this is the basement of the base um i have since then done some planning and i expanded it a little to make it a square because it was just bothering me that it wasn't a square uh, oh that's thunder in the background but uh i'll yeah. fix those later we have that since done planning and I have also changed these windows out because we updated the pack and now I have more framed glass. I also forgot there was framed glass. Um, so over here, we have the storage. That's going to go that part, that part, that part, and then we'll do some stuff along the wall. Probably the crafting stations along the wall. Uh, and it's going to be three thick so that we can have like a block backing it. And all the popping for the um, storage system in in the wall, right? So everyone following storage system. Then this is the little workshop. This here is going to be an entrance, an exit. That's going to be an entrance and exit. Here is our workshop. Here we have bulk we will put bulk washing and bulk smelting in the wall then we have this is what uh where is it there this is what the whole base is going to be built from and it comes out to there so i can show you this and this is uh, the iron behemoth i named it um, and this setup is going to produce us sand gravel clay iron ingots and flint the flint will be traded with uh villages for emeralds the iron uh will be used for building all other contraptions the gravel and sand can be turned into concrete the clay can be turned into terracotta if we run out of clay we can wash the sand to get more clay the clay can also be turned into bricks so that unlocks a whole massive array of blocks to us um, and they're infinitely produced we can then also later once this thing is doing we can easily make tree farms with the iron and stuff like that so i will after i have shown you around i will go and gather all the materials to build this uh it's besides the funnels and like one brass casing this thing is relatively cheap except for this block over here so yes i actually do need to move this back but this block over here is a chunk loader and it's going to make sure the iron farm doesn't break itself uh, and then we continue around over here and we have so next to it so in the space between that and what's over there there is going to be a small food processor so not necessarily growing any food but we'll bring food from other places and make 
make it automatically here. Um, I don't remember that. Um, I can't remember the mod at the moment. But we have a food mod in here. If I go carrots, I can probably carrot get its name. Farmer's Delight at so sorry at Farmer's Delight. So we've got all these foods and we'll go and find a food that is to our liking can eat be easily farmed and then we'll bring its material like it all its ingredients yeah and then finally we will have the elevator going up and down so this, the Iron Behemoth, let's, I'll move things around and get it to, why is it not, oh, position, alt, so I will adjust this so that it's nice and like integrated like it was and gather all its materials and then we will build this together. However, we will not power this uh, because I want to do that on stream. Um... We will do th through this wall. We will have a nice big steam power generator to power a lot of the stuff in the base. It's going to be added with the water wheels over there. Uh, I might, yeah, I might use the water wheels on that system to power the pumps for this system, and then we'll we will see it. But we'll do it see what happens but we'll do it on stream so please if you want to see that come and join the minecraft streams uh there's links to twitch and everything i would really appreciate to see you there so i'm gonna go and get the materials and see you then we have collected a ton of materials if we look in this we have everything except for the light blue concrete and the brass chunk loader, which I am not going to try to do manually. So this, this is the contraption. We can put like decoration under certain parts of it later. I'm going to stick it in here. Uh... Printer settings, uh, don't replace. Okay, so we want to replace solid blocks. Alright, so. No, we want to replace solid with any. Uh, skip missing blocks. Project block entities. And we're going to go. Put two things of gunpowder in. And build this bad boy. <laughs> so much easier than me having to do it. Uh, so I think it builds from... Bottom to top, left to right is my assumption. If 
by the looks of it, yes, I am correct about that. I don't really know what it does with the blocks it replaces. Let's see, are we getting... No, we're not getting white concrete in here. I don't really care, though. Uh, because this thing is going to be producing more than enough concrete to replace the, like, handful of blocks. And it means I don't have to, like, rip the wall out uh, to do anything about it. If we come down here... Oh, I don't actually know where the power is going. So somewhere here, there's going to be the power input for this thing. Also, I had to turn off shaders because we had horrible, horrible um, lag because of it. Um, which, oh well. So I'm going to leave this to build because there is a package here. So we'll be back once this is finished. So it is finished, but it is missing compo or key components. Uh, and that is no fault of this machine. It can't do certain things. So let's react to that all right water logging can can so now that is done we have I've got some of the lava um, if we go, what, one, two, three, four. We can place. One lava bucket in this whole system. I think it will cover the whole thing. We might have to place two. two and I don't have <clears throat> damn it I wonder if we take you out and just let you jump around that's for another project I'm working on. So, how this works. Is it an infinite... Stone or cobblestone generator? is just jumping around. Can I get it in water? Or does that hurt it? Oh no, it, it calms down in water. It calms down in water, okay. I'll sort that guy out after the fact. Hi, little buddy. Make a thumb thing for him. But... Why is there oh water oh there was a stair missing there we go I will have to do the patching up uh, later I'm gonna get rid of that. So how this works, now that it's in the world. Those drills will mine the cobble. And then the millstones 
mill the cobblestone into gravel so this will always be cobblestone because there's no silk touch on these drills and there isn't a way to do it it then splits it four directions two directions are for uh washing oh we need we do need to do the washing I hope the filter, there's filters somewhere in the system, I can't, they not get placed? No, they did, I don't see them though. The two filters, if memory serves, were meant to be here. Um, the machine ate them, I guess? Filtered everything else. So, anyway, th this washes the gravel which becomes flint and iron. They, this crushes it, which become, gravel becomes sand, clay, and more flint. And then this one just goes straight under and into storage for gravel. We'll have blue under this or shoots or something. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, because I found a recipe for andesite, and the uh, andesite uh, that is compacting. So we are already producing the gravel, we're producing the flint, and if we hook up a lava farm, all those ingredients make andesite. And then with the nuggets and the... Um, Nuggets and gravel, we are producing every single ingredient we need to make infinite andesite out of, which means infinite casings, and a lot of the machines can be automated. So I think I'm going to do that as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. We will... Finish this by hooking up power to here on stream. So that's where we need to hook up power and that will power this whole system at the correct speeds. Um, but we need a big generator and i want to do that on a stream and we will probably also do the lava farm and like leave space to make a hallway down here to make the andesite uh andesite alloy and casings i might not do the casings here but we will see thank you all i will see you in the next one it's been a good one bye for now